Hello and welcome to the Spartan Sports Zone. I'm Mike Bowell, the Assistant Sports Information Director, here with Sports Information Assistant, Shondrea Lee. Today marks our final episode of the season and we have a lot to catch up on, including how the Spartan baseball and softball teams fared at the MEAC tournament. For the third year in a row, Norfolk State hosted the MEAC Baseball Championship at Marty L. Miller Field. And for the first time in three years, NSU made a run to the championship final. It all began on the opening day of the tournament when Matt Altman and Devin Hemrick combined to give up just one run. The duo pitched NSU to a 6-1 win over North Carolina Central. Andre Moore had three hits for the Spartans. Bethune Cookman handed Norfolk State a 10-2 loss in the next round, dropping the Spartans to the loser's bracket. Then, after a rainout, NSU eliminated three straight Southern Division foes. The Spartans began that stretch by defeating NCCU again 10-1 on Saturday. Hemrick struck out eight and gave up just six hits in a complete game effort. Freshman Justin Burrell drove in three runs, and senior Cody Ellis had three hits against the Eagles. Florida A&M was NSU's next victim later in the day, and this time it was Josh Valles coming up big on the mound. He struck out 12 and gave up just one run in 7.2 innings in a 6-3 victory. Burrell again had the big bat, driving in three runs. Catcher Omar Hodesing had two hits and two RBI. In the next game, NSU's pitching continued to dominate and Outman returned for his second solid outing of the tournament. He struck out eight and scattered eight hits in all nine innings of a 5-0 win over Savannah State. Moore again had three hits and Zach Markle drove in a pair of runs. That victory, the third straight in the loser's bracket, propelled NSU to the title game. It was a rematch with Bethune-Cookman, but this time the Spartans kept it close. After both teams scored a run in the first, Bryant Munoz hit a three-run double for a 4-1 Wildcat lead in the second. Cody Ellis hit an RBI single in the third inning to make it 4-2. NSU loaded the bases in the sixth but was unable to bring anyone home and that 4-2 score held up as the final margin. Jeff DeFolgo and Stephen Butt pitched six scoreless innings in relief for the Spartans. NSU closed out the season at 23-26. and 26. Coming up after the break, we'll find out how softball did the week before at their conference tournament. And with so many great outings, which of NSU's pitchers landed in our top three performances? You're watching the Spartan Sports Zone, fueled by Gatorade. Secure your future by getting a top-notch education only at Norfolk State University. With world-class faculty and facilities, a bustling campus life, and highly regarded programs in the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology in the School of Business, Norfolk State is one of Virginia's leaders in higher education. Founded in 1935 as a beacon of hope to the region's youth, more than 78 years later, the university remains a source of inspiration for those in the Hampton Roads region and beyond who aspire to fulfill their dreams. A military-friendly school in one of the largest military areas of the world, Norfolk State University is home to faculty researchers who have forged partnerships that have created cutting-edge virtual learning environments. With more than 30,000 alumni, Norfolk State has played a vital role in our community in the past and is serving in a critical role today and will continue to be an academic leader in the future. Find out more at nsu.edu. Norfolk State University, infinite possibilities. Welcome back to the Spartan Sports Zone. The Norfolk State softball team took part in the MEAC tournament in Ormond Beach, Florida as the number three seed from the North. In the Spartans' opening game against Florida A&M on May 8th, senior Jamie Shuley pitched perhaps the best game of her career. She allowed just one hit in six innings against the Rattlers, but FAMU made that first inning single count. With runners on first and third, a double steal by the Rattlers scored the only run in a 1-0 NSU loss. Sophomore Heather Dunning had two of the team's four hits. It was on to North Carolina A&T later in the day in the double el elimination tournament. This time the Spartans had 15 hits, including 11 from the top four players in the lineup in a 6-1 victory. Dunning and senior Morgan Boyd each went 3-4 for four with two runs scored. Junior Alina Moriarty and freshman Kayla McNair combined to go 5-8 for eight with five RBIs. Senior Stephanie Wheatley pitched four innings of relief to earn the victory. The next day, though, the Spartans saw their season come to a close with an 8-0 loss to Hampton. An issue finished out the season at 20-26 and, and saw its most successful Division I senior class leave with 98 wins in four years. It is now time to reveal our top three performances from the past week. Earning a spot at number three is senior pitcher Jamie Shuley. She gave up just one hit in six innings in NSU's first game of the tournament and allowed just two earned runs in 13.1 innings. She was named to the all-tournament team. Coming in at number two is freshman pitcher Devin Hemrick. He picked up the save in the first game against North Carolina Central and then pitched a complete game effort in the second win against the Eagles. 
He allowed just one earned run with 11 strikeouts and 12.2 innings in those two victories. And rounding out our top performances for this season is pitcher Matt Outman. He got the win in game one against the Eagles and then threw a complete game shutout against Savannah State. He struck out 14 and allowed just one earned run in 14.1 innings of work. Congratulations to Shuley, Hemrick, and Outman for being featured in our top three performances, fueled by Gatorade. And that will do it for us here in the Spartan Sports Zone studios. Check back with us on the NSU Athletics YouTube page in August as we open the season with fall football camp. As always, we would like to thank the Department of Video and Media Productions and Chantel Copes for all their help. I'm Shandra Ailey. And I'm Mike Rowe. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in August.